far from me. He lost me. I cannot say why. Hallelujah. Say why. Uh, he lost me. I cannot say why. Uh -huh. On Calvary Tree, he suffered for me. He lost me. I cannot say why. Hallelujah. Define love. He lost me. I cannot say why. Oh, Calvary tree. He suffered for me. He lost me. I cannot say why. Praise the Lord. Church, love defined is not a love. I, there's no definition of love. There is no definition. You look at yourself. Why should God love you and choose you? Are you handsome? Are you rich? Are you connected? It is the love of God that made us together this hour. It is that love that made him to go to the cross of Calvary and die for us. I want us to meditate upon it. Think about it. Think about that love. He said, Scarcely would a good man die for another man. For a good man. But now, he said, why yet we are sinners? Christ died for us. Praise the Lord. Why yet we are sinners? Christ died for us. Because a sinner cannot pay the debt of a sinner. You are a debtor. Hmm? And they say, go and pay the debt of another person. You cannot. Because you are already in debt. So what the law requires that somebody that is free, that not owing anything, should come and bail us. And that's what Jesus Christ did. It's a great price. I want us to meditate upon it. He loves me. He loves me. Calvary tree, he suffered for me. He lost me. I cannot say why. Hallelujah. But he told them, 
As soon as, soon as you remember this, you make you, you do this, you remember that there was a time me and you we are sitting together. But as I sit stand now, it is farewell. I want us to think about it. Not like today now. Austin is ministering his last. Maybe the, today is my last appearance. And I've come to tell you people bye bye. Think about it. That was what happened that day. Jesus Christ was about to tell them goodbye. Think about it. That is why we are gathering this night. He said, as often as you do this, you remember my death because I'm about to die. Think about it. He loves me. Think about it. He loves me. Meditate upon it.
feet worship. Refuse yourself before the Lord. Please let me both start going for the foot washing. Let's start the feet washing, please. The rest of us reference yourself before the Lord. Remember his death. It is not in vain. It was not in Riaza. It was not fake. Son Jesus Christ. That is the greatest gift man has ever had. So remember that while we go in feet washing. So horses, please help. As we commence the feet washing, sisters, if they are going to the confidence, they must use this door. There's this particular door will be blocked because we are preparing the communion bread. We don't just want people to pass. Amen. Then secondly, the feet washing begins now, starts now. So if you are just coming in, and you want to be baptized, you can still be baptized. The water is still there. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so the feet washing starts now. Please, while the feet washing is going on, soon as we finish washing, let's not sit down there to pray. Let's stand up and we go some space away to pray so that other people can make use of the basins and the towels. May the Lord bless us richly. God bless you. You can continue. And okay, please. Uh, those participating in the feet washing are those that have been water baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's very, very important. And uh, even if you were not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ here, but you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ some other place, but 
we have to know. Amen. You have to explain that to us before you can partake in the feet washing. We will not, you cannot come from any of the denominations. Redeem, Mountain of Fire, Christ Embassy, whatever name it is. You cannot partake, not even the pastor can partake in this feet washing. Please, with respect to you, only those that are water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ can partake in both the feet washing and the communion. But if you are here, you are not baptized in Jesus' name and you are not ready to be baptized, you can still be here. We will still pray with you right after the communion. The Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. 205. 205. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Let's go silently first. No noise.
in the ground. them to go. Just pick one of the backups, please. One of the backup. So when it's time, I can also be able to step out. So one of the backup included. One for the six. Alas, and did my Savior bled. Bro, Joseph, do you want to help with that, please? Is that the tone? One for the six.
was not hugged. It was pushed away. It's a sign of embarrassment. But there, our Savior hung for our sake.
there's more. Child of me, there's wash and pray. Finding me, that all in all.
ocean field And where the skies all crash men bay Where every spot on an oak wheel And every man has cried by train Hey, 
came. And he is going to conclude it tonight. So let's sing with an understanding. Oh, yes. I have been a
Let's bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. In our littleness, you have loved us. When people don't care, you care. When people don't know, you know us. When there is no value placed on us, you paid the greatest price for us. We worship you, Lord. Be exalted. Be glorified. Hallowed be your name. Thank you for the gathering of the saints. Unto you shall the gathering of the people be. Be exalted forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Sing that song as you sit. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. And oh my soul. Yes, O oh Lord. Time. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh yes, Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my Let us worship His name. Praise be the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sure that the feet washing is almost done. Children, be very, very quiet in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Say amen when we say amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you richly. The time of communion is a, a sober moment. Praise the Lord. We remember something, an event, and that what has drawn us to do what we are doing. Amen. And let me welcome those of us from other assemblies that are here. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I will be speaking briefly. Not so much on the communion itself, because the things about the communion are made very clear in scriptures. But I will still be speaking more on the feet washing. I don't know how many of us Uh, having this exercise for the first time, even if you are those of us who have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and 
maybe where you were before, even, is, even in a denominational church, they never had feet washing. Lift up your hand. Okay, let me ask like this. If you attended a church where your feet was washed before in a service like this, lift up your hand. Not outside the entire message. Outside the entire message, I'm saying. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible talks about three measures of meal that a woman took living and hid in those three measures of meal. And the whole thing, the whole lump became living. Now what is living? The simple word that can be translated for living in our day-to-day -day grammar or language is yeast. Somebody say yeast. Amen. Now, yeast is the catalyst. Something that aids amen? Aids any form of chemical reaction. Either makes something to, to rise faster. Praise the Lord. For the yeast is so powerful that when you make a dough for making bread and you just take the yeast and rub on it, you go to sleep. A very little flour like this. Before one hour you come back, you see that the thing has, that small thing you say, oh, this bread will swell so big. But only the person who made the bread, who made the dough, knows that the original thing is not as big as this. So God hates living. Why? It's a confusion. Praise the Lord. When living is added to anything, it is no longer original. It's hybrid. It's no longer original. You cannot get the real taste. You cannot get the real power. There are many yeasts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Different kind of yeast that is placed in our lives. Thereby making us lose the power. Making us lose the taste. And once it loses the power and the taste, is, you cannot count it to be real. It's no longer real. Praise the Lord. So Jesus, when he was talking about the kingdom of heaven, he likened the third parable. He said it's like a woman, or the first one, who took a measure of meal and added living to it until the whole lump was, amen, was living. What were those three measures of meal? Justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost. The churches don't have it today. Justification has to do with your repentance and acceptance by God. You're being cleared by God that you have been forgiven. That is justification. If you look at the Bible, the way people repented in the Bible and gave their life to Jesus is not the way you were taught in your church. In your church, you are told to say a sinner's prayer. Is that not so? You are told to touch the TV set or come and shake the hand of the pastor. 
And the pastor is the one who tells you that, that now you are born again. But Peter never told anybody that he was born again. Paul never told anybody that he was born again. The Bible says that the spirit beareth weakness. Of that salvation that you have. Brethren. The thing that looks like. As if there are people who look as though they are preaching the word of God. They are trying. In this country. Not. Let me use the right term. They were trying. And that was the deeper life. Correct? Amen. But there is no salvation in deeper life. They are general overseer or whatever it is. Is it a superintendent? It's not yet born again. By this Bible. It's not born again. Because the Bible says that repentance and remission of sins must be preached in his name. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the name of Jesus Christ has been rejected. It has been rejected by the so-called church. Amen. Water baptism takes care of justification. Because justification does not mean that somebody is perfect. It's just that God has cleared you. Praise the Lord. But you can be justified. And you still have some things in your life that is not right. It is God that enables growth. Are you following me? You have your part to play. He has his part to play. So somebody can say, I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean originally, automatically that he will not do anything wrong. He can have some small, small things in his life. He needs to climb to the next stage, which is sanctification. Now, justification brings you the gift of the Spirit, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Sanctification brings you the fruit of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then the actual Holy Ghost baptism is when the Lord himself sits, wears you as a cloth. He sits in your hand, wears your hand, wears your leg, wears your head, takes over your desire and your whole being. Praise the Lord. At that time, amen, one has come, one has fully been adopted. The work of grace is complete in that person. And the Bible says, like we read this morning, ye are complete in him. In who? In Christ Jesus. You don't need any certificate. You don't need to travel. You know, when I was a, boy, a, a student, we went to be baptized. And then after baptism, we went to Elisha. I mean, Elisha. Far, far Elisha to receive right hand of fellowship from the apostolic church. The Baba was just sleeping. They went and called him. They said, people have come for right and fresh. The Baba just came out. I said, and my spirit asked me, I said, is this thing correct? What if we died on the road? We came to be confirmed. Are you hearing me? We came to be confirmed by a man. A man cannot confirm you. All these things are Catholic rituals. It was not even church things. They were Roman, 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 uh, Roman traditions that were borrowed and brought to the church, to what they call church. Apostle Peter never wore any garment designed as if he was going to war. Amen. It was so difficult to identify who the pastor of the church was that Judas had to kiss. He said, they asked him, okay, how will we get him? He said, the one 
that I kiss. If I kiss him, hold him up because if you allow one second, he can mix. When he mix, you and, 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 and James come out. James look like him. Everybody look like him. You know, when, I, when Jesus came, he resembled everybody. You don't understand. You know, when Jesus came, he resembled everybody. Amen. Let the late comers go for feet washing. I wish we had finished. Then you come and wash the plates. Praise the Lord. So brethren, these are element, elementary things, but they are not simple. As, they are not elementary as it is elementary. It is elementary to us because you believe. But these are strange things and they are heavy things. We went to pastor's conference in New York and this is what we were talking about and they were looking. They, it was so far. I said that, how do you mean? Do you mean that everything that is in the Bible? A pastor asked me, do you mean that everything in the Bible is true? And he's preaching. Do you mean that we need to have feet washing? Is it compulsory? I said, let's read it. I said, I don't have an answer for you. But let the word answer. Jesus said, if ye know these things and do them, happy are ye. If I don't wash your feet, you have no part with me. The man put his two hands on his head. He said, what have we been doing? I said, ask yourself. What have you been doing? Praise the Lord. Amen. The one who died, it is his name that was accepted. It is the name that was given in heaven as the highest name. So that highest name, anywhere you present it, that name will pass. Are you following me? The name of Jesus, because of the blood he had shed, became the highest name. The blood of Jesus is the key to death and hell. So every man is a dead man until he meets Jesus Christ. When I came back from New York, I was with my wife at the airport. I saw this preacher. I know him. I've known him for some time. Not closely. Because he preaches on television, Abel Damina. How many of you have heard of him? Hmm. They, they call him the Apostle of Prosperity. Do you know what he's preaching now? He said he was deceiving the people. How I many of you have seen him? He said he was deceiving the people. He said he would tell the people 40 keys. He knows that those things are lies. He said, I'm going to give you 40 keys to prosperity just to collect their money. He was saying it. And he said that it took him so long before he now met Jesus Christ. And I laugh. I said, even the one you claim to meet now, you never see Jesus. Until you are baptized. If you, if you didn't meet Jesus, that tells you that you must be baptized in his name. You didn't meet him. What did you meet? In that video, the man was testifying about Michael Conquo, Bishop Michael Conquo. That Bishop Michael Conquo met Jesus at the age of 70. And Bishop Michael Kukwa said that, how did, he, how, how did I, where did I miss it? I've been preaching for 42 years and I'm only meeting Jesus at 70. Bishop Michael Kukwa, you have not yet met Jesus. You are just regretting for the people you have duped. Hallelujah! When the hour comes that you meet Jesus, you will come and do what Jesus has said. Your wife that is a bishop will step down. You will be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and stop wearing all those intimidating garments that you are wearing to make somebody afraid. Amen. Amen. They are not the ones to take our time today. Let's look at scriptures. Why do we have the feet washing before the communion? 
How many of you have that question in your heart? Please lift up your hands so that we can know. Why do you have feet washing before the communion? Whereas, even in the nine time message, mostly we have, they have communion before the feet washing. Praise the Lord. Let the Bible speak. Because we bring the word of the prophet back to the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. John chapter 13. See if we can do this in 30 minutes and we go to the table. I'm sure you have eaten your you've eaten well. I saw some brothers going out, going to eat again. They are the ones that will suffer this night because the, after the communion, the wine will burn their, their belly, they'll be very hungry. You will be tempted. Amen. Okay, John chapter 13. And I want you to follow me. Somehow my... I don't know, Brother Raya, do you have your printer here? Or is it at home? Amen. The notes I printed out has been left somewhere. Can you bring the laptop for me, please, brother? Now, in John chapter 13, I'd like us to read from verse 1. And we read, follow me as I read from verse 1 to verse number 3. Now, before the feast of the Passover... When Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were, with, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. He had twelve close men, but among twelve he had his own. And supper being ended. The devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the father had given all things into his hands. And that he was come from God and went to God. Let me continue. He rises up from supper. And laid aside his garment and took a towel and guided himself. And after that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was guided. Let's stop there. I want you to look at scriptures. Look at it from verse 1. Look at it from verse 1. Put verse 1 there. Verse 2. This chapter 13 of John did not start from the beginning of the event of that day. Is that true? He said supper being ended. It means that they have finished supper. Correct? At the end of supper. Amen? Are you following me? So, for us to understand why we have the communion after the feet washing, we have to answer some questions. This supper being ended, was it the Lord's Supper? No, no, don't answer. No, 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 no. Lift up your hand. Amen. Supper being ended. The reason why you take communion before feet washing is because of this. You read that supper being ended. Correct? Jesus, uh, the devil, having now put in the heart of Judas. The devil did not put in the heart of Judas after supper. He had already put in the heart of, Jesus, in heart of Judas during the supper. Sometimes during the supper. The devil have settled with Judas to betray Jesus. 
to that supper being ended, if you are following this scripture very well, Judas Iscariot is not here. Look at it. Let's read again. Verse 2. And supper being ended, and the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray him. There's a semicolon there. Jesus knowing. Now, that statement was never completed. Amen. But John did not tell the story like a good storyteller who ordered the story from the beginning to the end. Praise the Lord. He scattered the story and we are going to see same in that very same chapter how he placed them. Amen. So on that said day, if we will follow what happened, on that day, something took place. The first thing that happened was that Jesus was asked by his apostles where he would that they should prepare. That they should prepare him to have the, the Passover. Is that true? Please follow me, follow me, follow me. We are preaching together. We are in this together so that we can be... Amen. Sorry, I printed this out, but I don't have it now in soft copy. Amen. So permit me. Because those questions are here. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I said that John began this story from the middle, which is at the end of the supper. What supper? was this what supper was this and I asked the question amen did Judas Iscariot partake in the Lord's communion don't just answer think about it Did Jesus share communion to Judas? These are questions you will answer and it will deal with the situation. So open your Bibles. Please, stay with your Bibles open. You are going to give me the answer. I won't give it to you. When we read scriptures, get ready to read, brother, for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The faith of many people are shaken by these events. Almost all the questions we have received is centered around here. And it's always like this when we want to have communion. We answer these questions. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Let's go to where Matthew chapter 26. Open with it. Matthew chapter 26. Praise the Lord. Okay. The Bible tells us that the Jesus honored an invitation in the home of Simon the leper. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to jump. And then in that house, there was this case of an alabaster oil broken by a woman who is of heel famed. And she washed her, the feet of Jesus with her tears and used her hair as a towel to wipe it before anointing the legs, amen, with oil. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Then, problems started. People start to talk like it is in every church. Oh, why is the pastor behaving like this? If he's spiritual, he should not do this. Why is he trying to do this? He's trying to cause confusion. This money is supposed to have been kept for the poor. And uh, the poor are suffering and things like that. Praise the Lord. And Jesus answered that question by telling them that, okay, since you are saying that the poor will always be with amongst you, but don't accept to be poor. Amen. He only said the poor will always be amongst you. So don't accept to be poor. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then in Matthew verse 14, the Bible says that one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priest and said unto them, what will, I give, what will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. Now, the time he went was not stated here. Praise the Lord. Because Matthew did not mention feet washing. Luke did not mention feet washing. Mark did not record feet washing. And I want to tell you that Mark was not there on that table with them. Luke was not also there on that table with them. Among the four gospel writers, there are only two apostles among them. And that is Matthew and who? And John. The lion and the eagle. Do you get that? Matthew represents the lion. John represents the eagle. Amen. And that's why Matthew talks about the kingship of Jesus. His authority to the kingship. Mark talks about the humanity of Jesus. He represents the ox, the man, the sufferings of Jesus, the workings of Jesus. Luke, amen, portray him as the man. Mark portrayed him as the ox, the suffering. But Luke portrayed him as the man. Amen. Praise the Lord. But John showed Jesus as the prophet, the prophet eagle. So you see the lion and the eagle. They were the ones that are apostles who were there. And one of them mentioned, specifically took a whole chapter to mention this exercise that we are having, feet washing. Apart from that, it was Paul that talked about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, the Bible continues that Judas went out to covenant for the head of Jesus. He prized the life of Jesus and he prized it for 30 pieces of silver only. Amen? Are you following me? He prized, they prized the life of Jesus and they bought Jesus. You know, they bought Jesus. Why did they have to buy him? Why did they have to buy him? That week, they needed to kill a Passover lamb. And the elders of Israel had to buy their own Passover lamb. And they bought the Passover lamb from Judas. Judas, not the owner, but the agent. Praise the Lord. So let me take you back a little to the Old Testament so that you understand the preview. In the Old Testament, there was this particular ordinance of separation. The ordinance that separated the people of Israel to be a special people to determine their freedom was the Passover. You remember? The night Passover, which they left Egypt. Do you remember something like that? Now, the Bible says God commanded Moses to tell them that from the... Let's go to that scripture. That is in uh, Exodus chapter 12. I have it here. Exodus chapter 12. Amen. So, we read from verse 1. Quickly, Brother Dio, would you just read from verse 1 to 3? Exodus and then, 12, 1 to 3. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Haran in yes. the land of Egypt, saying, uh -huh. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. 
it shall be the first month of the year to you. Yes. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel. Yes. Saying, in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, mm -hmm. according to the house of their fathers. Stop. Now, this month shall be to you the first month in the land of Israel. Which month was that? It was the month between March, the, the, the season between March, about mid-March, amen, to, to mid-April. Praise the Lord. Between the month of March and April, it's called the month Abib, A-B-I-B. -B. That is the first month to the people of Israel. It was the month in which God delivered them out of the land of Egypt. And he said, this month shall be the beginning of month for all of you, the people of Israel. But he said again to them, listen to me. Another thing he said to them was that every man, when the Bible said every man, remember I talked this some few weeks ago, every man means a household. Every family, that's what they call every man, every family must buy one lamb. Amen. That lamb must not be older than 12 months. That lamb must be within the range of, it must be within 10 months, 9 months, 11 months, even the 12 months, but not older than 12 months. Are you following me? So, having done that, each family will provide this lamb. Now, if a family, please read on. Let's see that from scripture. If a family was not able to provide that lamb, in case it happens that a family was not able to provide that lamb, would you read, continue to read? And if the household be too little for the lamb. If they be too little, or they can provide it, but if they start to eat it, it will not finish. They must not kill it. You must not kill what you cannot finish. As we came this evening now for communion, if we mistakenly made one drum of wine, you are in trouble. They will lock the gate. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are in trouble. We will just lock the gate until it finishes. We are not going anywhere because it must not remain. And those who were in Corico. Whatever that is. Amen. Praise the Lord. I should eat and go and come back. It's not, it's not dead there. You have to finish it. Praise the Lord. So he said, you see the reason why, if you see when we are saying things now, they were, they were embedded down in the Old Testament. He said that every household must have a lamb. If the house is too little, either for one reason, they cannot afford it, or if they even afford it, they cannot finish it. They should go and do what? Read on, please. Hit it. Let him and his neighbor next, to, next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Yes. Every man according to his eating. Yes. Shall make your count for the lamb. Yes. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Yes. A male of the first year. A male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or it, from the goats. It can be goats. It can be and you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same you, month. You keep it from which, which day? From the 10th day of the month to the 14th day of the month. How many days would that be? Five days. Five days. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. The fifth day will be the 14th of that month. Are you following me? Then what will happen? And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. The whole assembly of the congregation, see how God puts it. All the lambs will become one lamb. Amen. All the lambs, because it must be one lamb. It must be one bread. So if we are so many tonight... And then the congregation is so large and we cannot have a piece of bread. We will bake three breads. We will bake four breads, but it is one bread. And we will set the church in company of fifties or hundred and set an elder and a minister over them 
to oversee and minister. Then there's a central minister here who begins the ministration and everybody takes. You don't jump from that line to this line. You don't jump from this line to that line. And Jesus, when he was feeding the multitude, he said, let the people, command the people to sit down in companies. So you have your own company. And when you are leaving the company in the evening, there is a password. If you don't know the password, you come back, they will shoot you. Praise the Lord. Keep reading, my brother. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts. Yes. And on the upper door post of yes. the houses, wherein they eat shall eat it. Yes. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. Yes. Roast with fire. Roast with fire. And unleavened bread. On unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs they shall eat and it. And they shall eat it with bitter herbs. So when they roast it with fire, they will take the bread. When they cut the bread, they will dip the bread into that bitter herbs. And they will eat the bread. And they will crack the meat. Listen to me. They will not eat the bones. The bones must not be broken. If the bone is broken, it is cancelled. That's why when Jesus was being tortured, of all the torturing, 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 they could not break his bone. Because if they break his bone, he can no longer be the savior. Even the nails miss his bone. He entered the vein instead of the bone. Are you there? Yes, know what we are doing. So that you can know it until you can tell somebody else. Amen. Praise the Lord. With bitter herbs. Are you following me now? So they have to eat it with bitter herbs. Now they cut the bread. They dip it into bitter herbs. Because... Bitter. Once something is bitter, you don't take it with pleasure. So they just dip it bitter herbs and they put it in their mouth and quickly put the meat there and eat it and scrape it, scrape the bone. But when the bones remain, they will gather the bones and burn the bones until it becomes ashes. Hallelujah! Oh, Father. Amen. Then they put the blood on the lintel. They will put it like this, they will put it like this, and they will put it like this. Amen. If you are successfully inside that house, you are justified. You are not, death cannot see you. You might have killed somebody. You might have done terrible things, but that's not God's problem. The thing is that, don't let him catch you outside. Jesus Christ did not die for good people. If your life was worse, come to Jesus. He will make you white. The worst thing is for you to be outside. Who is more worse than, who is bad than Paul? Saul of Tarsus. Who killed Stephen? Amen. Who is worse than him? Than he? What about Mary Magdalene? What about other people? What about Onesimus? A thief of the highest order. A thief and a runaway. But when he met Jesus, even his master was not allowed to call him by, by, as a servant. The bed that Paul used to sleep, that's the bed Onesimus slept. And none shall ask what they have been, provided their robes are clean. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot get it in deeper life. No. If you are a member of Redeem, you are still a sinner. Because your pastor cannot give you what you don't have. Anybody that is not saved by the blood of Jesus, you can only contact the blood of Jesus inside that place. And inside there is in water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't have that experience, your sin still remain. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Can we continue? Amen. Eat not of it raw. Mm -hmm. Don't eat it raw. 
Not sodden at all with water. Yes, don't cook it with water. But roast with fire. Roast with fire. His head and with his legs. Listen to me. You why to roast with fire? If somebody they suffer, can he say are they roast? No. People when they speak broken, talk to me. Those who speak are local broken. If so, when somebody says somebody is suffering, they say ah that man is roasting. Is that not so? To roast it means that they, you know. They kill it and they roast it. They torture it. Fire burn the skin. Burn everything. They roasted Jesus. Amen. So just to give us the order. Just to give us the order. Listen to this. So on that day. Amen. Are we ready? On that day Jesus said, okay, go. You will go to the city. Prepare the place and then tell the man that I'm going to have my supper my passover in that place so they went they prepared their passover correct did they buy lamb they didn't buy lamb did jesus forget the apostles also forget to ask him because they were a family they were a family hallelujah we are a family so when they came they sat down and they began to eat praise the lord it is that night that the Passover is supposed to be killed. Hallelujah. And they ate. They forget they didn't kill Passover. But while they were eating, it began to be sorrowful. Because anybody that wants to, want to die must have sorrow. Is that not so? He began to be sorrowful. He did not enjoy the food again. And they said, ah, Master, what is it? You are not enjoying the food. This is a time of great happiness for Israelites. He said, one of you Amen. Shall betray me. They say, Jesus, no. Don't let people be confusing you. We are not like that. Uh -uh. Who? Who will betray you? Except, I don't know. Uh -uh. They began to ask, is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Then Jesus said, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Those who are sleeping, wake up. Jesus said, the one that I will give the soap after I have dipped it in the soup. Amen. That's what Jesus and Judas ate. Correct? So tonight, we are coming for communion. Amen. How do we take communion? Do you cut bread and dip it inside the wine? Amen. That's what Judas ate. They cut something, they dip it, correct? Into bitter herbs. And when they dip it, it becomes SOP, SOP. Amen. They dip it when. Okay, let me speak in our local terms. How many of you eat Eba? Those people with Eba, lift up your hand. Eba people, yes. Okay. Amen. You see, when you were eating, I was waiting. I was patiently waiting. Because I don't want something to turn to what I my belly. Just land. Just land. I was waiting. And when something came, praise the Lord. Now, when you cut Eba, what do you call it? Talk to me. Eba. When you, and when you see soup, what do you call the soup? Soup. When you put the air by inside the soup, what do you call that? You see? You have failed. Swallow. <laughs> okay. So now, in the real terms, in the English language, in the olden English then, what, they had bread. So when they hold the bread, it is bread. They had sauce, like stew or whatever. That's sauce. But whenever they dip the bread inside the sauce, you can't call it bread. Neither can you call it sauce. It is called sop. S-O-P. You can check it in your dictionary. So that's what Jesus did. But that's not what we are going to do tonight. Because we were taking another kind of thing that they took after that one. Supper being ended. That supper is this supper of bread and sauce, which is called sop. 
So when he caught it, he dipped it and gave it to Judas. John chapter 13. Let's read from verse 20. John 13. Let's read from verse John 13, 27. Let's read from verse 25. John 13, 25. He then lying on Jesus' breast said unto him, Lord, who is it? Okay. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. He it is. He it is. To whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. When I have dipped it. When I have dipped the sop. He gave, Okay. And when he had dipped the sop, okay, when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot. He gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. What happened next? And after the sop, uh -huh. Satan entered into Stop! him. Stop! Go back to verse one, verse three, verse two. When did Satan enter? John caught the story from the beginning. If you can see now, and supper and so being ended, ended. the devil. Having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. What gave him that devil? It was sop. Jesus activated the devil in the sop and gave it to him. Because with God, all things are possible. Without God, nothing is possible. I gave my life. I lay down my life. No one can take it away from me. I, lay, I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it back. So that was the time that Jesus gave Judas, that Satan. He activated the Satan in him. Go back to the verse we are reading. Verse 27 now. Verse 27. And after the sword, after the sword, Satan entered into him. Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, Yes. That thou doest. The thing you want to do, do quickly. Do quickly. Now, no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this. No opinion. one knew. He confused everybody. For some of them thought, Yes. Because Judas had the bag uh -huh. that Jesus had said unto him. Buy those things that we have, we have need of against the feast. Yes. Or that he should give something to the poor. Yes. He then having received the sop. He then having received the sop. Went immediately out and it was night. Stop. Which means if he went immediately out, he was not even there in verse 3. Look at verse 3 now. Let's read from verse 3 again. Are you understanding it? Because... John is now explaining the story he didn't tell very well. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he was come from God and went to God. Amen. What happened then? He rises from supper. He rose from supper. And laid aside his garment. Kept aside his garment. And took a towel. Took a towel. And gathered himself. Yes. After that, after that, he poured water into he, a basin. He poured water into the basin. And began to wash the disciples' feet. That is when he started washing the disciples' feet. Communion has not come. Judas has already left. Hallelujah! Now, remember why you will know that Judas was not there. Let us read on. Back. We still know this thing has to go forth and back. Let's go to verse 6. Verse 6. Then come to then Simon. Come he, then come he to Simon Peter. Yes. And Peter said unto him, uh -huh. Lord, do I thou wash my feet? Peter, Jesus you know, answered. He's always very forward. Over Sabi. Over Holy. Nahim. Over Trouble. Nahim. If Peter was in this church, many of you will have problem with him. Is not so? Yes! Allow people be what they want to be. God has different kind of children. Is that not so? Amen. There are, there are people among us 
If somebody come and hit that gate, they will mistakenly carry the person and land him on the ground before they remember that they are Christians. Is that not so? It's true. I was with a brother in Uganda. We were just talking so simply, so gently. The brother was just, oh, but, oh, shalom, shalom. The next time somebody just did something, before you know he has given the person two slap. Pam, pam. I said, bro, he said, oh, brother, my hand just don't have control. Pray for this hand. We now left the preaching water to preach and started begging the person. Because you can't even fight him. He has strength. He is justified. But he has not yet been settled inside. Work still needs to be done in him. Or don't, don't you have work to be done in your lives? I have work to be done in my life. Amen. Oh, people of God. The Lord bless you. So, coming to Simon Peter, Peter said, no, 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 no. You cannot wash my feet. Then Jesus said this. Read on. What I do, thou knowest not now, mm. but thou shalt know hereafter. Stop. This statement is very heavy. What I'm doing now, you don't know. But after, you will know. I'm here with you. Everyone is, everyone is a Christian. Everyone is say shalom. But when the moment of trial will come, you will know. You will know you need discernment. Because not everyone that is saying Lord, Lord, that is after the kingdom of God. Next verse. Peter said unto him. Peter said unto him. Thou shalt never wash my feet. He said, Jesus, when you finish preaching, you will keep down your bucket and your towel. You will never wash my feet because I cannot allow you, a great man, to wash me, my feet. Jesus answered him. Jesus answered him. If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Stop. Let me ask you. How many of you here can say, it means that everyone that Jesus washed had parts with Jesus. So how many of you can claim that Judas Iscariot had parts with Jesus? No, don't. It, your answer is not no. It's in the scripture. Use scripture to answer scripture. John chapter 17. Verse, is it verse 8? Who has got that scripture? John 17, 9. Just 17, 9, okay. I pray for them. Mm -mm. All that thou art given me, I have kept, and none is lost except the son of perdition. John 12. Verse 12, okay. While I was with them in the world. While I was with them in the world. I have kept them in thy name. I have kept them in thy name. Don't Listen to me. The name of God is Jesus Christ. Which other name did he keep them? I have kept them in thy name. Yes. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. Those that you gave me, I kept. And none of them is lost. Lord, my father, no one is missing. Oh. Now, when somebody say none of them is lost, anything remain? No. Judas was never a child of God. You made a mistake to say that maybe he fell. He didn't fall. <laughs> he go back to where he belonged. Even when he was with Jesus, the way he was preaching... He was preaching, if you can sow, there is a special seed you are going to sow and I'm going to pray for you. Once you sow this seed, your life will change. The Lord is telling me now that you should just close your bank account for the Lord. 
They can even tell you how much is in your account. They don't. No, 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 no. God don't send them to poor people. God don't send them to people that are struggling. Even they come, they will make you poorer. Amen. The Lord took, you know, if you see those people, I was listening to I, I, Matthew Ashima Lowo, and I said to him, I just right there on the, on the YouTube, I said, oh, guy, never stop this thing where they do. You know they big pass something. There's a special seed. The, the, there's a special seed. The seed of the early morning miracle. What are you talking? Nonsense. You deceive yourself until you don't even know what you are doing. The seed of the early morning miracle. What is that? After late evening, we will look for another seed. Jesus knew that Judas was a thief. But they didn't announce it in church. You people are troubling yourself. You see people in church, they'll be investigating others. What are you investigating? <laughs> Amen. Everyone is coming here to do his ministry. Do your own. Because even you yourself, when people are marching, you say, left, right. Left, right. Are you seeing my like? Am I correct? Left, right. You say I'm correct. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Now, as long as I'm doing this, left, right, and you, you want to correct me, you also make the mistake. Because you are not going to listen to the commander. You will say, ah, you are spoiling, you are thinking of, you are spoiling our parade. Do it well. And as you are trying to correct, you can even fall. Don't worry. Let the person see that every other person is different. He will correct himself. Help him or her to correct. Some people can be anger. Anger. If, if, if God allows Satan now to tempt you, even you may not take this communion now. As you are smiling like this, you will just verse. Remove your, 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 your cap or whatever. Tie in your waist. I, no, 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 leave me. Let me show him my recolor. The recolor is the devil. The recolor is the devil. You need deliverance. Hallelujah. But God is patient with you. He's giving you, he's helping you step by step. He said, we'll not give everything in one year. Step by step. Small time you, you are growing. So when God, who is patient with you, you to try to be patient with others. Amen. Finish that scripture. None is lost. Do you hear that? None of them is lost. But, uh -huh. but the son of perdition. But the son of perdition. That the scripture might be fulfilled. So there is a scripture that the son of perdition is not a part of them. Are you following? So if Jesus washed the feet of Judas, he has part with him. Amen? Let's rush that quick. We are almost ending that. So, that has answered the question that Jesus did not wash the feet of Judas. We have also answered the question that indirectly that from this if Jesus gave him the sup and he ate and left, he did not wait for the communion because the communion came after the supper. The communion came after the feet washing. Praise the Lord. Let, let Brother Paul explain that to us. I'd like to read what I said here. I have a little note here. I'll read two things to compliment. Amen. Are you there with me? Listen to this. Now, Jesus had observed this ordinance that is the Passover all his earthly life. Because he was born in Israel. Every year you must do this Passover. Correct? Okay. But on this occasion of the last Passover, of his last Passover, his household could not afford a lamb. 
So he had to fulfill the scripture above by joining his, with his neighbor. So the, the scripture says, if you are not able to finish the lamb or you can't afford, you should do what? Join with your neighbor. So he sent Judas and Judas went and told them that we want to come and join you. Correct? Listen to me. So they say, no, no, we don't want anything for free. Are you bringing a lamb or not? Say, uh, we don't have lamb. We only have Jesus. Say, we'll use him as lamb. We pay you 30 pieces of silver. So when they came, amen, to join, they caught Jesus and tied him like a lamb. You know, he was the lamb of God that was born in a manger. He, John said, behold the lamb of God that take away the sins of the whole world. They heard all of that. And they still fulfill scripture of being negative to do what? To be the ones to kill him. Don't be among those killing Jesus. Amen. Finally, on that. Praise the Lord. The arguments have always been that the meal Jesus and Judas shared with the rest of the apostles was the communion supper. The Lord's Supper. The communion is made up of bread and wine. But the meal that was eaten as supper before the institution of the Lord's Supper was not bread and wine. Jesus answered, It is womb to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he, dipped, he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, Simon's son. Jesus took bread dip it into a kind of soup or sauce. This was not bread and wine because we do not dip communion bread into the wine. Jesus and his 12 apostles, including Judas, had had a supper where unleavened bread and other sauce, soup, was used in eating it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we have known when Judas left the room. Praise the Lord. So I just want to read the summary of what happened, the event, that night, and then we go to the table. One, the first thing that happened that day is that they arrived at the guest chamber from the beginning of the program. This is how they, don't worry writing, we will send it to you. They arrived at the guest chamber, they said, go and prepare the place, and in the evening, they came there. You know that communion can be taken, praise the Lord, rightly, communion can be taken. Amen? From the evening time, from any time from 6 p.m. till before 12 midnight. Brother Abraham, amen, in stretching of his program, used to take that communion at 12 midnight. He said, and, but each time he did it, he said, if that will be right. You can see that in quotes. Praise the Lord. This communion is known as the evening meal. And let's just stay with that. Amen. Praise the Lord. First, they arrive at the guest chamber then one, Mark 14 verse 17. Just write it down. Two, they sat at down at supper. The principal meal was served. Luke 22:14. The first scripture is Mark 14 verse 17. The second scripture is Luke 22 verse 14. Three, Jesus began to be sorrowful as though he was not enjoying the meal and he spoke of his betrayal. Mark 14 verse 18. Four, the fourth thing that happened, they all began to doubt and ask who it was. Five, the fifth thing that happened, Jesus identified the traitor by dipping the bread into the soup, also known as a sop. Matthew 26 verse 21 to 25. Mark 14, verse 20. Matthew 26, verse 21 to 25. Mark 14, verse 20. The sixth thing that happened, Jesus gave the sop to Judas. The seventh thing that happened, Judas took it, ate it, and immediately went out. John 13, 30. The eighth thing that happened, Jesus rose up and gathered himself with a towel and took a basin and began to wash their feet. Peter tried rejecting then he convinced him and he did. The ninth thing that happened, Jesus, he returned to the table 
and continue eating that supper they were eating. Are you following me? Because the food had not finished. Amen. Now, the tenth thing, while they were eating, he stopped and took bread and gave thanks. Amen. And broke it and instituted the new testament. He did not eat it. Why? How many of you kill a goat and the goat eat itself? Tell me. How many of you kill chicken and the chicken eat himself? It doesn't happen. No sacrifice eats himself. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. No sacrifice eats himself. Are you following? Are you following? All right. So the tenth thing that happened, Jesus took the bread, but at the same time, his, he called it his body. And with the wine, he instituted the new covenant, thereby rendering the law and the prophet an old covenant, which is testament. At this point, I want to make a point. Look up. Somebody say, I'm listening. I'm also hearing. Now look up. The book of Genesis is not Old Testament. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to Noah is not Old Testament. It is the book of the beginning. Old Testament started in Exodus chapter 24, verse 6 to 8. How was it done? Look at it. Old Testament started in Exodus chapter 24. Can you read it for us? Are you there, brother? You're not even there. Read from Exodus, verse 5. Exodus 24, 5. Quickly. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood okay. and put it in basin. He put it in a basin. And half of the blood is sprinkled on the altar. He divided the blood. Half of it is sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of covenants. Yes. And read it in the audience of the people. Yes. And they said, all that the Lord has said we will do. When the, the, all, the, 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 the covenant, the ark of... And he took the book of covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord had said we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. The remaining blood, he poured it on the people. He sprinkled it on the people. And said, and said Behold the blood of the covenant. Behold the blood of the covenant. Which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Stop. Did Jesus sprinkle blood on us? Yes. It is called the blood of sprinkling. That speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. He divided the blood into two. They drank one. And they split the next one. The remaining part. Hallelujah. Can you see the type? So your Old Testament. That particular scripture. That's where the Old Testament began. It was rendered old. When Jesus also said. The exact word that Moses said. Jesus said, this is the blood of the new covenant in my, in my blood. Praise the Lord. This is the new covenant in my blood that is shed for many. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know if there is any question we have not answered in 
all of this. So the last thing they did, brother, verse 11, number 11, they sang a hymn. Amen. Praise the Lord. The last thing they did after the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives where he later was betrayed. Now when you check all the scriptures, the last event, after they finished eating the bread and wine, check, they sang him and went out. When did they wash feet? In Matthew, when they finish eating, the drinking the wine, Jesus, because he has already died at that point, because Judas has already spilled his blood to those people. If, if that time they paid for him, he, that's when he was able to say, this is my blood, because he, they already tear him. Hallelujah. So he, he, he was still very painful. Then after he, they drank it, he couldn't drink it. Hi, he can't drink his own blood. He didn't drink it. He said, I will drink it afresh in the kingdom of my father. Correct? So after that, amen, what happened? He sang a hymn with them. And he said, rise up, let us go. And they went out into the Mount of Olive. Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Amen. Is our conscience clear now? Anything about the word of God, it must be plain. So this evening somebody open with me 1 Corinthians chapter 11 I will introduce the communion element this morning or this evening as we have it two things here only. We have the bread. On living bread. Amen. I want to read something from the prophet of this age. This bread is prepared by holy hands. Yes. We have the wine. Don't be afraid. There are some more in the jar. Let your, let your heart be at peace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, this wine contains alcohol. So that's why I'm introducing it to you. We're not doing boju boju here. It's not zobo. Spiritual agbo. <laughs> or, or current. They take it with malt in a redeemed Christian church. Witchcraft. That's what you are taking. You need deliverance. Don't hold my mouth. Amen. Amen. It's my mouth. A servant of God does not persuade men. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to his name. I'm reading the message titled Christianity versus Idolatry. It was preached in 1961. On December 17th, if you have it, you can put it up there, paragraph 112, electronics reading. Christianity versus idolatry. I want you to listen to what William Abraham said. Now, let I get it there. Christianity, 1961. 
December 17, 12 to 17. Christianity versus idolatry. I, kept, I just keep reading so that we can go to the table. Now, the Roman priest, then they adopted this by taking and making the communion. The first thing come up was making the communion instead of a broken parcel like the body of Christ, they will make it round like the sun or like the moon. How many of you have seen the communion that they give to you in Anglican Methodist? Eh? Roman Catholic. Eh? The wine. I know that uh, uh, some of these Pentecostal churches they use uh, they use Levantine bread. They are, they are big boys. They are using Levantine bread. I get, get gala. They even use gala for communion. They need deliverance. They need to be flogged. Now look, they take this wafer. Are you see, you see me? They put it in your tongue. Don't let the pastor put anything in your tongue. It, what thing do your hand? What is wrong with your hand? Listen, all the wafer is of the same size. Round, sickle moon, witchcraft, Freemason, Illuminati. That's what they are. Instead of something that must be what? The bread must be hand broken by the minister. And you also, when you reach your place, you can break it. If it's not the size, if it's too big for you, you break it. If it's too small for you, you add it. But, oh, may, may the Lord have mercy. Our family members, our friends are dying. May we not keep quiet. Let this gospel move. Brethren, let this gospel move. Don't allow this truth to die. I know I'm not a fake. And you know I'm not a fake. Yes. If you, if you think anything, you are just deceiving yourself. I'm here all out. God forbid if anything happens to me today, there's nothing my family has got. I don't have anything I have left for my wife or I'm preparing to leave for them or whatever. Except Jesus Christ. So I won't be in that condition and be telling you lies. Is it that we don't, we've not seen money? Is it not money we are using to do all these things that we are doing? Sending missionaries everywhere. The little we have, we put it together to make sure that the gospel travel and somebody's going to sit on something. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ten richest pastors in the world. What are you doing that for? Don't sit under such men. A servant of God is supposed to go and boast about his wealth and showcase them. Church, churches now are on the, the stock market. So buy shares from, from, from Redeemed Christian Church. The, 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 the thing he's selling for is, is 30 copper per unit. 30 copper per unit. So your seat there is 15 naira per unit. So what did he say? He said they make it round like the mood smooth. Roman priests today lay round wafers on the altar and call it the literal body of Christ. What a shame. Amen. The bread must be unleavened. No yeast. 
You may add sugar. You don't even need, but you may add sugar. You may add the olive oil in preparing it. You may use butter, whatever. But no yeast. The wine must be wine indeed. Eva is not wine. Praise the Lord. What did I say? How many of you have confirmed that thing since I've been saying it? How many of you have gone to confirm that ever is not wine? If you, have, if you have, what did they write at the back of that ever bottle, that small sticker? Say, so ever is what? Is, is a non alcoholic fruit juice. Is that what Jesus used? Put up there as we go to the table. Let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord. Bow your heads. As Brother Gideon will put 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This hour, a thing as little as grudge. Believers, I want us to remember that Jesus. He was in a very difficult situation that day. Paul calls it in the same night in which he was betrayed. I want you to talk to the Lord. Help me. God just wants you to have clear conscience with your neighbor you may have a neighbor who is not talking with you. You may have a neighbor that if you greet, you will not answer you. That's not a problem. But may your conscience be clean. Talk to the Lord. Heavenly Father, help me to discern the body of the Lord. May I not eat and drink of this table unworthy. Is there any unconfessed sin in your life? You can make it right. You can make it right. Don't boldly come if you have not confessed. Oh, Father Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you for grace that is sufficient. Oh, thank you, Lord. Those that are still coming in, guide them to have the feet washing. The deacons, you can see, so those
running a race, heavenly race to meet a redeemer, heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race, oh, to meet a redeemer. It's a heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race, heavenly race to meet a reading. Let's talk to the Lord. If there is any sickness in my body, in your body, Lord. This is the hour of healing. You suffered so that we will not suffer. You suffered so that we will have a way of escape from every suffering that may be cloud our, our lives. Examine yourself both in being worthy that's why we had the feet washing and prayers Lord having washed our feet we have waited one for another we have tarried one for another oh heavenly father you are God of mercy come down with your mercy you are so rich in mercy come down and make us worthy of discerning this body of the Lord as we share on this table. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. We are running a race to meet our We are running Running a race, running a race, running a race. Oh, heavenly race. Yes, Lord. To meet a redeemer. Uh, please, another announcement again. Still repeating. The communion is only for those that have been baptized. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And also for those who have had feet washing today. You don't stumble at the things of the Lord. So if you are just coming in. It is not late. If you want to be baptized, the water is there. It's not late. We will baptize you and give you communion. Amen. Please do not give this communion to your child next to you. Amen. Usually the church used to have biscuits for them, but I don't know they have today. Amen. Do not give the wine to them or the bread. It's not just for anything. We, that's how we recognize it in this assembly. May the Lord bless you as you cooperate with us. Shalom to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Brother Kingsley, just need a basin to wash my hands. Running a race. Ooh Running the race. Heavenly race. To meet a redeemer. Running a race. Running a race. Heavenly race, heavenly race, to meet a redeemer. Oh, running a race, running a race, running a race, running a race, to meet a redeemer. So I just read this. So when we get to the table, we just take the action as we go. Amen.
in first Corinthians chapter 11 reading from verse 23 hallelujah please listen to this for as I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. How many of us remember him tonight? God bless you. Amen. And after, and, okay, after the same manner, also he took the cup. Please take note of this very verse. When he had sobbed, on the line, the term supped when he had supped when he had eaten supper already s u p p e d is the old is the past tense of supper amen when he had supped praise the lord amen eating supper amen not sip are you following me? It is not the past tense of sip. Go and check it very well. Praise the Lord. Saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do, this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Now, please. For as often as ye eat this bread. Are you listening? And drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. We keep showing his death. We bring forth his death. Amen. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. That's why you see us making this announcement on and on. You, I, you can go to redeem and they give you communion, you eat. Because it's not communion. They are joking. You can go to deeper life, they give you communion, you eat. One shereni, they are playing. But here, it's not so. It's not so. Praise the Lord. It's not so. Because we're not just talking about living in the bread. There is no living in the message we preach. Amen. Praise the Lord. Finally. But let every man, let a man examine himself. Examine yourself. That's what we have the opportunity to do. Examine yourself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Not cups. Not shots, Ogoguro shots. They share it small, small, small shots. See if it's Ogoguro. No. One cup. One cup. We are going to share from one cup. Amen. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the body, the Lord's body. For this reason, for this cause, many are weak. And sickly among you. And many sleep. Many die. For if you will judge. Our, if we will judge ourselves. We should not be judged. But when we are judged. We are chastened of the Lord. That we should not be condemned with the world. Correct? Wherefore my brethren. When you come together to eat. Tarry. One for another. Do you see that? Wait for one, one for another. Serve one for another. Pray one for another. And that's what we did at the communion, uh, feet washing. But we're still going to pray one more time before we break this bread. The mercy of God will overrule judgment. Amen. Amen. If any man, and if any man 
hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Hmm. Paul, always talking about setting things in order. Praise the Lord. Amen. You there with the water for me? Now let's bow our heads one more time. You can hold the hand of your neighbor and pray for somebody next to you. Lord, let my help my brother. I wait for him. May he be worthy. May she be worthy. If there's anything in his life or her life that wants to condemn him before the throne of grace, Heavenly Father, you are God of mercy. Rise, O oh Lord, above and grant victory. Pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. Pray for your pastor. Pray for everyone here. Even sowing discord. Even being a tail bearer. Whatever. Ask the Lord. Take control over our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord have mercy upon us. May he cause his face to shine upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us break bread together. Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Quickly. First Corinthians 11 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, the same bread. night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight and we thank you for this bread. We thank you for the revelation behind it. Glory be to your name. Have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break this bread in Jesus' name.
So the bread, the bread is going to be passed around. When it comes to you, you can break it. If you find a piece of your size you want, you just take a piece. But let it go round. Break it until it's able to go round and round. the ministers to come forward so it will be easy. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, let us also minister the wine so we take everything at the same time as we go. Servant of God, you can just come and cut the bread. The next verse. After the same manner. After the same manner. Also, he took the cup. He took the cup. One when, cup. When yes. he had supped, after saying, supper. This cup is the New Testament in my this blood. This cup is the New Testament in, in my, my blood. blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. As often as you do it in remembrance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, let the ministers come, the elders come, break the bread. Don't let any peace fall on the ground. No piece of the bread should fall on the ground. Let us drink this wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When we pour on
Must not fall on the ground. Put your hand under it. You're coming, keep praying. Why you're so waiting, keep praying. Believing, come believing. Let anything fall on the ground, put your hand under it. God bless you. Put your hand under it, don't let it fall on the ground.
Deus te puder, aviu também. Que Deus te puder. From behind. We'll solve that like that. The disciples came to land. Christ's command. For the master to go to them. Come and die.
you for yourself. Let my spiritual life come alive. Pray for yourself. The will of God in my life be done. Lord, help me to overcome my flesh. Pray for yourself. Say 
Continue.
Jesus carry me the go the go the go carry me the go Jesus carry me the go the go the go I believe in you Jesus carry me the go the go the go carry me the go Jesus carry me the go the go the go I believe in you Jesus carry me the go the go the go I believe in you Jesus carry me the go the go the go I believe in you Lord Jesus carry me the go the go the go carry me the go Jesus carry me the go the go the go carry me the go the Lord will burn every ailment every disease Carry me the go, Jesus. Carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me the go, Papa. Oh, Jesus. Carry me the, the go, the go. Carry me the go, Jesus. Carry me the go, the go, the go.
on ira fanir de Alléluia
said we have toiled all day long but at your word we will cast this net one more time yes. and your word have said bless the people oh, yes. by your word I release that uncommon blessing yes. uncommon favor Notable miracles. Undeniable miracles. Into your lives. In the name of Jesus. By the authority that is in the name of Jesus. Every lost glory, as I've been preached today, every lost glory, let it be restored now. Every star that has refused to shine. Every gift that has refused to shine in your life. Whatever is holy that gift, I break it up in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus said when Lazarus came out, he said, lose him and let him go. Tonight, I lose you and let you go. Tonight I decree that you are loose. Let every closed doors be open in the name of Jesus. Job chapter 22. Job chapter 22. I'm not going to wait for you, brother. It's not over until it's over. Amen. Job 22. Job chapter 22. Verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. I pray the Lord settle peace in your heart. Amen. Thereby good shall come into thee. Amen. May the good of the Lord come unto you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thy heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Amen. Tell the Lord, Amen. Amen. I receive, I receive, I receive. that building up, up. From, thee. from thee, O Lord. Build me up. Build me up. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust. If you believe it, say amen. And the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. I speak into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those things that you didn't even believe God for. The Lord will do it in your life. Remember a testimony I told you? Of a certain brother who has also been a blessing to this ministry. He had nothing. They were to send him out of the house. Every morning, the landlady would stand up and mock him. You know him. The co tenants will laugh. Only one of the tenants' family was saying no. Even though somebody is poor, don't treat him this way. Then the brother went to his email and saw a, a letter. And that letter, he replied the company and sent samples of the drawings. He's just, he just draw. Not need to just, he just sketch something. And they said, no, we like what you draw. Can you design this thing? Say yes. Project Fame gave him contract. You know Project Fame? Gave him contract. He said, brother, in this message, to design their stage. And they told them, said, we will keep our equipment. Can you find a land, cheap land to buy? We are going to send you our lawyers. And they sent two lawyers. And lawyers were looking for land near that area. And lawyers mistakenly buy the house that he was living for him. He didn't know. Listen to me. Paul said, pray all manners, all manner of prayers. I want you to say, God, if that kind of God exists, visit me. Talk to God tonight. I want to see it. I want to touch it. Yes. Mighty Father, Mighty Father, yes, Lord, by your power, God of miracle, show yourself, God of miracle, when people have written me off, come down to my rescue, show yourself in Jesus' mighty name. Listen to me. Listen to me. Brother, open it down. When you see a good thing, contact the Lord. Open that offering down. Listen to me. The lawyers bought the house. And they say, yes, mister, we have bought the house. Uh, come to our office. That's where you'll be packing the goods. And if, as you are saying, you're having a commercial problem, you can even stay there. There's a building there. When he came, he looked at the place and said, don't you see this address? They say, what is about the address? They say, look at my address. Is this not my house that I'm living? They say, no, it is a woman that owns it. It's a woman that owns the house too. And when he checked, he said to them, please, quiet. And they get to the compound the next day. The landlady woke up and called her members, you know. When they want to mock you, they have members, they have gang. They call the members. They say, Church person, we don't know how to pay rent. Now I have sold the house. Where will you go? I say, please, oh, you better move because I will tell the new landlord to allow these people to stay until they can go. But for you, yeah, you are going immediately. She began to dance. <laughs> And let me tell you something. You know, women cannot keep things. The brother did not tell his wife. He didn't tell her. 
He just told the wife that the company has bought a house somewhere. But he didn't tell her that it was that house. Because if they began to abuse her out of anger, he would talk back, say, you don't even know me by this house. No, calm down. Brother, I like that kind of God. He's like God. It has worked for me. Listen. When I read, he said, he said, and thou shalt have gold. It has happened in my life now. Yes. It's gold that I used to buy this land. It has happened in my life. I went to a place. As I just entered the place, it does says the Lord, this man is a king. He's my servant. He has worked in hard places. Give him a seat to sit. They put up the seat for me and I sat and I said, give him gold. And somebody else said, I give you gold. Nothing in my hand, I give you gold. And you, you don't want to believe God. The, listen, the most expensive thing is faith too. You don't know. Tonight, you have scratched the body of God. Something must happen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you know what happened? Then the landlady announced, don't go anywhere on Saturday after a where can you go because you don't even have work. The new owners of the house are coming. So you have to be around. Then they sat and they wait. He too sat down there. Those people drove in. Brrr, the two liars drove in. Park. Two plots of land they bought. They entered. Yes. Good afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. I am Mr. So, 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 so. The lawyer for... The client for, for my client, the owner. I am Mr. Susu, so, the second lawyer for the company of my client. Uh, where is the owner now? They said, No, the owner is coming. They address. Then Madame start to talk. He said, Yes, this tenant, as you see them, this one, uh, this one, uh, he still have some time. You give him time, you give him time. These are the only two people I can say you should give time. But the rest, drive them away, even tomorrow. Because they can't pay. Then the lawyer said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, Mr. So -so -so -so, I don't want to mention his name. Uh, he's the owner of the house. The landlady said, my brother, why, why, are, you, why are you drunk? When you leave it, why, why can Fanta make you drunk? My brother stood up and cleared his throat. <coughs> Say, uh, yes, uh, my new tenants. <laughs> the wife said, darling, darling, what is happening? He said, don't worry, I will explain to you. He said, the, the landlady said, would you sit down here, stop insult, what is that? I said, madam, Mr. So is the owner of the house, can't you see the, look at the, 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 the agreement. When he looked, she looked the agreement. All this why the Lord blinded her. When he looked at the agreement, he said, ah, how, when, why? My land, my house is not for sale. They said, no problem. Tell him he will, he will tell you the price to pay. <laughs> Let me tell you. You are there. You have struggled. You have done everything humanly possible. It looks as if that thing will not work. I want to tell you tonight there is going to be angelic assistance. <laughs> Yes, sir. There is going to be angelic assistance. The Lord himself will step into the situation. I'm telling you, 
I'm not saying real. The landlady, the landlady, she pee in her, she pee. She couldn't hold the piece. Pee. Then those other things said, they said, we are partners from South Africa. This man, you'll be seeing him on television a few days from now. He is now the new person that won the contract. They start to explain. I said to them, no, 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 don't talk about it. They will see it on television. <laughs> when you say, when you watch Project Film, look at the name when it starts to go up. When those things go up, you see, he said, you will see it. It's not something you need to explain. Hallelujah. Then he said to them, he said, there's no problem. He said, now, I don't have time to waste. You know, I'm a, I'm a man of, I'm a, I'm, time is business. He said, now, uh, please, uh, madam, uh, please, you just have two weeks to leave. I can give you only ten days. Uh, and you and your church members. Uh, then he turned to the other neighbor. That neighbor, he said, my brother, as if it is three years, eh? if it is three years that you want to sit down and settle down, build, don't pay rent, that you want to build your own house and settle, live here. I will take care of you. That brother is the first person to roof when we had that, that roof. That our roof when he was, yes, he was the person who roofed our tabernacle. He came here and he said, Brother Nice, God, God has helped me. What can I do? I said, We need roof. He just roofed the whole thing. He told us, He said, Brother Nice, when you finish. Your tabernacle, I want to come and design this place. Whatever. He, he has even drawn the design of this place. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm coming to design it. I said, ah, forget about design. He said, no, 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 I have to do it. I, at my cost, I will do it. I want to tell you something. Amen. I feel like dancing to the Lord. Oh. I feel like jumping. I feel like shouting. I feel like saying glory. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. Excellent Jehovah. Excellent daddy. Jesus, excellent darling. Jesus, excellent Jehovah. Jesus, excellent darling. I say I love you. Jesus, excellent darling. Jesus, excellent Jehovah. Jesus, excellent darling. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, I love you. Oh, Daddy, I love you. You don't do good, do good for me, oh. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, I celebrate your name. Oh, Daddy, I love you. 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 Darling, I love you. Daddy, I love you. Jesus, excellent, darling. Excellent I love you. you. Darling, I love you. I love you. Darling, I love you. Listen, Lord. Let your people become miracles. Yeah. Walking miracles. Yeah. Living miracles. Yeah. Let them become signs. Yeah. For the children that you have given, they are for signs and wonders in the land. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. You are blessed. Yeah. You are blessed. Yeah. You are blessed. Yeah. You are blessed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Verse 25, Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then thou shalt have thy delight in the Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God. 
thou shalt make thy prayers unto him. He shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, thou shalt say, there is lifting up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. He says, and he shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent. And it is delivered by the pureness of thy hands. Look up. Open your hands to the Lord. Somebody say, Lord. My hands are pure. Because you have made them pure. You chose me from the beginning. Before the foundation of the world. To be holy. Not my holiness. But to believe Jesus Christ. The Holy One of Israel. Lord. My hands are pure. Let me decree a thing now. Let it begin to be established now. That is who I am. In the name of Jesus. I believe miracles. Sister Helene, you are a miracle. Yes. Sister Helene, I win. You are a miracle. Listen. When the Lord spoke in that sister's life and she took him, medically, it was supposed to be impossible. But the God of miracle made her a miracle. That's what believers are. I am leaving this place tonight a miracle. The man of God have... Altars were broken on Friday. On Saturday night, what happened? What was the subject on Saturday night? Huh? Uh -uh. Altars was on Friday night. Prayer. On, on, on Saturday night. Glory. This morning, what else is remaining? I am manifesting as I'm going. I am shining as I'm going. Tonight, as you live here, may you begin to shine. You will shine until those that love you will shine with you. You that you are struggling for house rent, you will build a house. You are believing God for a partner, receive your partner. You are believing God for a business, receive a business. You are believing God for the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Make you shine. Shine until the enemy cannot stop you. Till the Lord Jesus return. In Jesus mighty name. Shalom and God bless you. Shake somebody. Congratulate somebody. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Those that are coming for the first time from other assemblies, I